Welcome to Headline News 24-7. Please click like and subscribe. John Bolton dismantles New York Times after they publish fake news article. Bolton blasts New York Times over fake news report that Trump would settle for nuclear freeze with North Korea. National Security Advisor John Bolton criticized the New York Times on Monday following POTUS Donald Trump's surprise visit to North Korea following the G20 summit in Osaka, Japan over the weekend after the paper claimed the administration would settle for a nuclear freeze with the Hermit Kingdom. What's more, Bolton hinted there should be legal consequences for the paper's attempt to box in the president's diplomatically over the national security implications of falling to come to terms with North Korea and leader Kim Jong-un. I read this New York Times story with curiosity, Bolton tweeted. Neither the NSC, National Security Council, staff, nor have I discussed or heard of any desire to settle for a nuclear freeze by North Korea. This was reprehensible attempt by someone to box in the president, there should be consequences. According to the Times, a nuclear freeze essentially enshrines the status quo and tactically attempts the North as a nuclear power, something administration officials have often said they would never stand for. The paper said the first step was getting the North to shutter its primary nuclear fuel production site at Yongbyon in exchange for the most onerous sanctions against them being lifted. The Times noted further that Bolton and Secretary of State Mike Pompeo rejected this because of the bulk of the North's nuclear production capacity is outside of Yongbyon. The idea now is to get to Mr. Kim's new negotiating team to agree to expand the definition of a Yongbyon site well beyond its physical boundaries, the Times reports. If successful, and there are many obstacles, including the North accepting intrusive, perhaps invasive inspections, it would effectively amount to a nuclear freeze that keeps North Korea from making new nuclear material. And as before, the paper goes on to question whether POTUS really wants full denuclearization or if he just wants a sort of kind of victory he can hang his hat on. That's typical, but that's what Obama did when it came to vaunted nuclear deer involving Iran, a deal that Trump quit. So, you have to ask yourself a question keeping in mind the deep state's use of the Times as propaganda outlet to undermine the president, given his record of sanctioning the North, sanctioning Russia, hitting Russia's power infrastructure, imposing tariffs on hundreds of billions of dollars worth of Chinese imports, and threatening Mexico with tariffs, if it doesn't do more to interdict Migrants, does Trump seem like someone who is prepared to accept less than what he's demanding for America? That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.